Hey YouTube, Brian here again. Coming at you with a video on the African Cichlid Tank. You know, I've been pretty guilty lately of not really uh, showing this as much. Uh, I've been kind of focusing a lot of my video footage and stuff on my discus tanks and my planet tanks, but um, still love this tank. This tank is, uh, you know, I, it's in my kind of living room, TV room area, so I, I chill with it every night. <clears throat> During the day when I'm working, I'm in the office, and that's where uh, my discus tanks are, so that's kind of when I spend my time with those tanks. So, But anyway, the um, reason I'm doing this video, number one, is just to get it some face time and show you guys the tank, still doing good and everything, for the most part, but I, but I have been having a problem lately. Um, as of last night, I pulled out my fourth dead fish um, over the last couple of weeks. The first one that uh, was killed, <clears throat> or that came up dead, was uh, my uh, second Venustus, or smaller Venustus, that I got after, after Big Sexy here. And then a couple uh, random Mabunas, uh, ones that weren't as colored up, and one shouldn't say this, but ones that I didn't care about as much as some of these other peacocks in here came up dead, and I started wondering what was going on. I couldn't really tell. By the time I found them each time, the pleco had uh, been, you know, eaten on them quite a bit, so I couldn't tell if it had been attacked by another fish or if it just died of natural causes or, or some sort of other cause. And it started getting me wondering. So finally, last, I think it was last night, or the other night, I started kind of paying a little bit closer attention to this tank and I started noticing kind of what you're seeing right now is that um, almost all the fish are over on this side of the tank and guess who's kind of running this side of the tank big sexy and look at his colors man they're hardly ever giraffe style color anymore they're almost all solid yellow for whatever reason he's going uh, freaking postal on the rest of the tank basically and he's forcing them all over to the other side of the tank and he's he's killing them off one by one so um, I don't want to get rid of this guy so the first thing I'm gonna try here is what I like to call the Mr. Honey method yeah, you guys all know Mr. Honey to you on YouTube if you don't you're missing out you should be subscribed to him but uh, he uses these uh, I don't know if they sell them as a critter tote. I'm sure they call them a bunch of other things too. I just picked one up down at the local Pet Smart. But um, I'm gonna give this guy a timeout. He's gonna go in here, be in the same tank, and see if that calms him down. Um, so um, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you a video of it once uh, once it's all been taken care of. All right, so we're gonna go in and try to net this guy here. So he is coming in at eight inches. Nice. That was a big minute. So go ahead and get him in his new home for the next day or two here. And that is the timeout holding cell. And here we go. We got the uh, big sexy, the Venustus, placed in his uh, holding cell. He is not happy about it right now. And I guess I kind of misjudged. I should have bought the next size up. I'm gonna have to work tonight. I'm gonna head up there and get a bigger one so that this doesn't seem so inhumane. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we already have uh, full tank occup occupation back with all the other um, cichlids. Um, they're 
back to their normal state, their love and life, they're knowing that this guy can't get at them. And hopefully this will calm them down and we can let him back out after he's uh, done some time and uh, he'll play good with the others. If not, then we're going to have to think about, uh, you know, another plan. But otherwise, guys, that's all I got for you. Um, again, I, I'm, uh, we're going to call this the Mr. Honey method because uh, Mr. Honey's uh, shown some videos, uh, um, showing some success on this uh, in the past uh, on his channel. And uh, so we'll give him the credit. Um, if you have not subscribed or don't know who Mr. Honey to you is, I'll link him uh, below in the description. But you're missing out if you're not subscribed to him. Alright guys, thanks a lot and uh, we'll talk later.